Hi shoebox people. I have two boxes I'm going to do tonight. Both are for boys and I'm struggling with the age range. Uh, I think, well, this one is definitely 10 to 14. I think this one's five to nine. Maybe you can help me figure that out because I'm not sure. So let's do the box I know for sure. Put this one out of the way for just a moment and I'm gonna hopefully do both boxes. So as I said, I know this one's a 10 to 14 box. I have to put the label on. I'm just um, putting my final touches and my final boxes together and then I'm gonna get into uh, my filler. So when he opens the box, and I've packed this one multiple times trying to fit it all in, this is what he's gonna see. His pencil pouch is empty. I'm hoping that this will allow me to then use one of the giant envelopes and get it sealed, but I couldn't put anything in this and make it fit. So when a pencil pouch comes off, he has his shirt on top and it's a really cool patterned shirt. I believe I got it at Giant Tiger. It is a size 14, 16, which is a really crazy pattern. I quite liked it. And I thought it was very eye-catching for a young man. And then he has his uh, little um, Amazon backpack to take things home. And then this is the rest of his box. So let me pull things out and I'll show you what's in here. So first off, he has a box of crayons. And he has one of these little sleepy owls. I've used this one in a couple of boy boxes. I think it's just really cute. And then he's got um, a set of dominoes so he can play. There are instructions in multiple languages inside the box. Got that at Dollarama in Canada. He has a bracelet made of paracord and it's got a compass in it. All sorts of fun boy stuff. I got it in the camping section, had it for a while. He has one of these tangle fidgets. You can move them all around and make all sorts of patterns with them and they're great to distract you. And he also has one of these fidgets. My grandson loves playing with these things. You can break them apart and redo them and they make all sorts of really cool patterns. You can bend them all sorts of different ways. They are great for um, distracting yourself. And then he has his wow. So I bought a really neat Lego set that's in two pieces. These are um, Lego Hot Wheels racers. And the first one is this car. Oh, this is the second one, actually. The first one is um, the person. So it's a, a person in a smaller race car. And then a bigger race car. So it's two parts. I took it out of the box. I did not keep the box because I don't have room to put it in the bottom of this box. And there's enough information for him to actually figure it out. I'm hoping. Then he has a bunch of cars, so a bit of a car theme going. These are all Hot Wheels, a pretty fancy one. And then he has a, a Hot Wheels fancy truck. And a dune buggy. So I thought that was fun. Got one of these gliders where you just can fling it all over the place. Again, from Dollarama in the summer. And it's got the little person in there. And then it shows how to do it down here. So it needs to stay in the original packaging so you know what you're doing. And then this is his pencil pack. He's got some erasers, a good uh, pencil sharpener. He's got scissors, a little poppet, a googly eyed ring. He's got a bunch of pencils and then some fun pencils. He's got um, a gel pen, pen and he's got a paint brush or two because there's some watercolor bookmarks in there. He has a brown little line notebook. Um, he's got a little bookmark that's a cat and it says fashion forward. <laughs> well, I guess with the shirt he is fashion forward. And then he has a Mido, Mighty Dino truck coloring book and stickers. There's lots of stickers and things to color and do. I know it's in English and he, chances are he won't speak English, but it was all I had. He's got one of the coloring books I put together, lots of things. There's a lot of cars in this, along with some cute animals. And then he has one of the um, scratch kits. 
This is all space themed scratch kits. His school notebook says life is good. And then he's got another lined notebook in here. So that is for a boy. Um, as far as I can figure out, I hope I'm right with my age guess in this one. Um, 10 to 14. Oh boy, can I fit it all in? This is the hardest part. Well, I'm just going to stack it so that I can show you the other box. Because I might need some feedback and some help figuring out what age this other box is for. All right, so this one kind of has a bit of a Marvel theme. Oh, I don't know about this box. Sometimes you don't know about a box, right? You think, is it the right put together? There's a child out there that will enjoy it. Have I got everything in it that I can fit in it? And then you try and close the thing and it doesn't close properly. But this is what's in this box. So when you open it up, you see his pencil pack on top. And a lot of the stuff that's normally in a pencil pack, I've had to put loose in here because it just didn't fit because of the wow item. So this pencil pouch has a lot of fun things in it. Um, markers, crayons, a full set of crayons, some uh, sharpeners, a Google ring, a slot bracelet, scissors, a bunch of pencils, etc., etc. So there's other things that um, would be part of that normally. Okay, and then here's his wow item. It's Thor. So his arms move and his legs move and Thor has somewhere in here his hammer and it actually fits in his hand if I can get it to do that. I don't know if apparently it fits. You just have to bend. The hands bend too which is kind of neat. So he's got his hammer. And then I found and I thought this was just hilarious. Um, I have an Avengers, it says Thor, but it's not Thor, it's one of the, uh, the bad guys, I can't even remember what they're called, but then I found these really cute Marvel squishies, so I've got the Hulk as a squishy, <laughs> and I've got Captain America, he's got his little shield, his little, little face, and a little Thor, <laughs> And then I went into the DC universe and I found Batman so they can have all sorts of battles. Um, so I had to, like he takes, I had to put him diagonally in the box and then fit things around him. So he has a race car and I think it's, no, it's not a pullback, it's just a race car. There's a couple of other cars in here. He has a plane. It is a pullback that moves forward. He's got a jumping frog. They're fun to play with. He's got an organza bag full of things. So he's got a soft baseball and then he has a baseball spinner. And he's got a stamp of pulp paw prints. And he's got another little car and it's a pullback. He's got an orange Hot Wheels doesn't do much of anything. He's got a Lego animal to create. I think it's a puppy dog. And he's got a squishy. What else do you have here? He has a hygiene kit. Was there a hygiene kit in that other one? I think there was in the back. I will double check that. Um, I don't remember it. Uh-oh. Emery board, toothbrush, nail clipper, band-aids, a comb, and lip balm. He has an orange kind of neon bag to take things home in. And then these are other things that were from his, his pack. He's got a yellow ruler and a stencil maker. He's got um, one of these uh, chamois cloths for his hygiene. He's got a box of pencil crayons and another car, a little orange and, no, nope, purple and blue and red car. It just is a car. It doesn't do much of anything. 
Then he's got um, um, the same truck coloring book. Glad I noticed this because there's one attached. He doesn't need a, that goes for a little girl. So he's got a coloring book. He's got a yellow little mini notebook. And I need to get one of my coloring books and add it in. And then he's got one of the yellow notebooks for school. So I don't know what age this is for. I kind of think five to nine. I don't know. What do you think? If you can give me some advice, that would be great. Because I'm unsure. I think probably five to nine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put five to nine. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Um, I don't know, guys, what to do. What age? I think it's five to nine. I think it's five to nine. I'll put it in five to nine. Boy, five to nine. Maybe I'll swap out the pencil crayons for real crayons. That might be better for a five to nine-year-old. Oh, what to do, what to do. Well, there's crayons in his pencil pouch. So he does have crayons. Here, he's got a full set of eight crayons. He's got a couple of markers um, in the pencil pouch. So maybe I'll leave it and he can have pencil crayons. In that case, he needs a better sharpener though. All right, well, that's everything I've got for tonight. Thank you for watching me open two um, boy boxes. Um, I think this one's full of a lot of fun. It's kind of a mishmash of cars, which boys love and Marvel characters, and they're just a lot of fun. Um, have a great evening. Enjoy packing up your last few boxes. I'm uh, down to the wire myself and um, might have a couple more to go. I'm still trying to get rid of as much of my stuff as possible so that I can start um, uh, cleaning up my stash room. It's quite full. Um, anyways, have a great evening. If you think I've got the wrong age, please let me know. Good night, everybody.